What is up, you guys, and welcome to Road to Vostok, a hardcore survival game that takes place between the borders of Russia and Finland where you'll be facing off against some advanced AI. Your mission? Staying alive, baby. Now, I gotta be honest, although that this game has some ways to go, it looks great, and the fact that it's being developed by one person is kind of insane. We're gonna be taking an early look here, and if you guys want to give this game a go for yourself, I'll be leaving a link in the description below where you can download it for free. With that said, it's your host Operator Ryzen here, and if you enjoy weekly first person shooters, be sure to shoot up that like button and subscribe to join the FPS army. And without further ado, let's dive right in. Right, so if you were getting some Escape from Tarkov vibes watching the intro, you can already kind of get an idea of what the core aspects of the game are going to be like. But actually, Road to Vistok takes elements from DayZ, RuneScape, and Stalker alike to create a high risk, high reward type of gameplay that you'd find in these titles as well. Now, Road to Vistok will be a hardcore single player game, however, from what the developer had mentioned, it does have plans for co op and PvE in the future, that is, if everything goes to plan. As for the game itself, it's run on the Unity engine, and I must say that the visuals and gun models are beautiful. As for the weapon handling and mechanics, there is still ways to go like I mentioned, but I'm keeping my complaints to a minimum only because this game is still in its early stages. Now unfortunately, the demo is short and it does restrict you to one map location at this time while the others are still being developed, but overall if this game does keep up, I would love to see how it turns out. I know that this week's episode is kind of short, only well, because the game is too, but let me know what you guys think of Road to Vistok in the comments below and give it a try for yourself. The link is in the description and it does not cost a dime and we'll be visiting more to Road to Vistok as the game progresses. Be sure not to miss a thing by liking and subscribing. It's Operator Ryzen here signing off and I will see you awesome people in the next one.